is the Applied Intelligence System session. Uh, there are five presentations in this part, and I remind about the time limit. Uh, seven minutes for each speaker, that means five minutes for presenting the main results and two minutes for answering questions. Let's start. Uh, the first presentation is um, an approach and software prototype for translation of natural language business rules into database structure. Andre Kopp, you're welcome. That's me, thanks. So uh, could you please allow me to share my screen? Okay, thanks. Uh, so <clears throat> I may start and uh, I would like to present uh, our study which uh, proposes an approach and the software tool prototype for translation of natural language business rules into the database structure. Uh, the main motivation uh, for this uh, study is uh, the situation uh, which is uh, in uh, a modern agile project where the software engineers who are responsible for the server side programming are also responsible for the database design. At the same time, uh, the <clears throat> database design is a quite uh, difficult area which requires special uh, skills and knowledge and experience for successful translation of uh, captured requirements into the database structure which will be relevant uh, to the captured requirements. And uh, with the lack of experience, uh, such activity may result in a bunch of problems, uh, such as um, design flows uh, of uh, database scheme, or even some uh, mistakes uh, related, for example, to normalization. Uh, that is why uh, this uh, approach and software prototype is proposed and uh, we are focusing mostly on the relational databases only for now. Uh, that's because of their uh, extreme popularity still nowadays, as you may see, the, the such uh, primarily relational database engines of Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server and PostgreSQL are still in the top five of um, database system providers. And uh, as the input information for our approach and the software tool in future, we, uh, we consider such uh, requirements also known in the domain of database design as business rules. And uh, we are focusing on uh, the one kind of these uh, business rules, which are facts. And uh, facts are basically some statements uh, or requirements that uh, describe uh, entities, uh, relation between entities and uh, entity attributes that should be placed uh, into the database scheme. Uh, since the business rules uh, must be well structured, we propose the following um, patterns for such for writing these business rules. And uh, we propose the following uh, regular expressions, which our software tool uses to parse these business rules. Uh, then parse the business rules as uh, uh, given at first as the text and exploded into statements are translated into entity relationship models and then into SQL scripts for uh, database generation, also known as uh, data definition language uh, script. And uh, the most interesting part is that we need to use uh, only attribute names to uh, propose uh, data types. For, for this purpose, uh, as the initial solution, we use a naive bias approach, uh, which is also based on uh, users' uh, actions from the previous uh, sessions of using the software. And the same approach is used to suggest alternate keys, uh, also based on captured uh, users' uh, choices for the alternate keys uh, in the history backwards to the previous sessions of the software usage. Uh, for now, we implemented only the prototype. However, the software tool is supposed to be uh, available for 
uh, two kind of users, uh, business analysts to produce business rules and uh, database designers or uh, some other software engineers which are responsible for script generation and database deployment. Uh, the software tool for now is implemented as the single page application written mostly in JavaScript. And uh, this uh, application has a single page which contains the large text area for business rules input. And uh, then by clicking the single uh, button translate, we can obtain required uh, SQL script. Uh, for the experiments, we use the following business rules uh, related to the problem domain of uh, students, uh, re records about students' uh, marks. And uh, based on these business rules, we got the following scripts which were successfully deployed on the MySQL server into the database of the following structure. Uh, at this first session, we uh, suggested data types and uh, single alternate key manually, but uh, then, as you may see, our vocabularies were filled with uh, sufficient data and the following uh, experiments with uh, these three business rules given were translated uh, and uh, automatically uh, suggested uh, domains uh, or data types of uh, attributes and uh, alternate key in one of these examples. Uh, our The first database created was uh, checked for operability, uh, database integrity and consistency. And we additionally validated our SQL statements besides the automatic validation by MySQL in the SQL field fiddle uh, system. And uh, it's shown that database scheme is uh, fine enough. And we used uh, three metrics of data model scorecard to um, estimate uh, structuredness of our uh, data model. Of course, it's far from uh, perfect because this is only an example. It's incomplete. Uh, it has uh, structural disadvantages and uh, inaccurate data types. Uh, so uh, the main results for this uh, study were presented and uh, to conclude in the further uh, research, we may consider usage of more advanced natural language and uh, machine learning uh, methods uh, to improve our uh, approach and software tool and to consider other business rules such as uh, business logic constraints uh, or referential integrity constraints and uh, others. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Yeah, dear colleagues, your questions, please. Thank you, Andre. If there are no questions, we will continue. And uh, the next presentation is um, uh, approach to recognizing of uh, visualized human emotions of marketing decision uh, making systems. Please, who will be the speaker? Yes, that's me. Second. Okay, uh, can you see my presentation? Yeah. Okay, uh, so my topic is approach to recognizing or visualize human emotions for marketing decision system making. Uh, trends in any commercial activity show that making marketing decisions that will provide the greatest impact on a consumer in making decisions to maximize profits are relevant today. In recent years, in the area of marketing, the subject of intensive research has become non-verbal information, namely the study of facial expressions. It is known from psychology that all humans' emotions can be classified into six uh, basic emotions, which are most used to obtain non-verbal information. The ability to automatically recognize this kind of information will simplify the, interpret the interpretation of emotions on a person's face while watching advertisement, um, product testing, or using other services. The development of emotion recognition in a vast majority of methods occur in two steps. Uh, in the first step, functions are defined from fixed images, and in second step, emotions are detected detected with the help of already developed classifiers. The most common are neur neur um, neural networks, the image on the right-hand side, and local binary patterns, LBPs, image on the left-hand side. 
As a, as, a, as a result, the system assigns the most appropriate emotions to the image. However, those approaches require a lot of time and resource, resources for training, which limits their use in a large sample of input data. Um, approach to recon Okay, so um, those approaches, uh, sorry, please. Uh, emotions are one of the basic elements of human psych. Human emotions are distinguished depending on the state of satisfaction of, of his needs. They can be both positive and negative, as well as neutral. For example, looking at the advertisement, some people feel anger or disgust, while others pleasure and interest. A person's behavior also changes depending on what emotions the persons are experiencing. When making marketing decisions, when making the automated system must be able to identify and recognize one of six basic human emotions. Neutral, when a person doesn't react in any way and remain in its original state. Disgust, a feeling of disapproval towards someone or something. Fear, a state of anxiety and restless caused by the, expect by the expectations of something undesirable or unpleasant. Surprise a short-term feeling and state of a person that occurred during a sudden and unexpected situation. Angry is a strong feeling of dissatisfaction that arises when a person's needs or expectations uh, have not been satisfied. Happy, a feeling of satisfaction that arises when a person's needs or, or expectations has been met. Sad, a feeling opposite to happy which arises in a case of loss and helplessness of a person. Our performed analysis of this issue of these issues shows that uh, to determine a human emotion, it is enough to choose the key elements on the face, namely the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth, not to identify the whole face. This algorithm is of proposed approach includes the following steps. Step one. Uh, determining a face image from a photo or video and convert it back and convert it to, into black and white format using the capabilities of CSS filter function, which can be implemented on any PC hardware as it doesn't require large resources. Step two, uh, section, selection of key elements of the face and, they are, and then processing in the HSL, hue subtraction and luminance, color model, where hue means both color and hue. Saturation indicates the amount of gray color. Luminance is the intensity of light projected on a given area and direction. Um, in step three, each pixel of the photo is replaced by its numerical value. The darker, the darker the hue of black, the smaller the number and vice versa. Those numerical values will be used to say to search for key points of the selected facial elements based on the algorithm for finding the nearest neighbor, namely the hue of black. When the hue of darkness depreciated by more than 15%, um, it, might, it might be more. This means that the next pixel, depending on its direction, doesn't need to be estimated. This will give us a clear contour of the element we are estimating. Step four. Based on the analysis of, of changes in, his, in the position of key points, performing to identify human emotions. I'm sorry, Alexander, but you've got one minute left. Yes, so sure. Ah, that. I'm already finishing. Um, on, okay, so on this image, this, uh, this diagram shows the implementation of the proposed method, which includes three main modules, image determination, uh, conversion, and identification. Image, de image determination includes photo and or video contents and face, de face determination from this content. An image conversion model, we have um, conversion, convert an image to black and white format, process the color model, construct a numerical matrix. And for the last identification module, where we are going to identify the key, uh, key points, calculate, calculate and classific calculation and classification and identification of emotions. Uh, okay, so there is some, um, uh, um, how we call it, uh, emotions. 
and how we can identify them. Um, another diagram with the emotions. And okay, for example, if you take eyes, elements, eyes element, and check it for conformity with the characteristics of emotions, they can be detected. If the eyes are unchanged, we can have two emotions. It can be neutral or happy. If eyes are delighted, it's either fear, surprise, or disgust. And for the last, if eyes position are squinted, person could be sad and happy. In a conclusion, um, uh, research in the field of psychology has shown that the emotional state of a person has common external features. This made it possible to develop a universal classifier of emotions. The article proposed an approach to recognizing visualized human emotion using a pixel color model, which has the uh, which has the ability to adapt to ch uh, to changes in the input data, high speed, and low resource usage. This proposed approach has practical value in a marketing decision making system based on the uh, based on the analysis of human emotional state while viewing or testing particular products or services. Mm -hmm. Further research will be aimed to a developing method and algorithm for automated recognition of human emotion, namely taking into account when recognizing the physiological features of a person's face, gender, age, etc. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Please, are there any questions? No questions. Thank you, Alexander. Thank we you. will go on. And the next presentation is uh, application of big data methods in e-learning systems. Please, who would like to present? Thank you, Irina Kirichenko. Yes, you are welcome. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, just a minute. Can you see my presentation? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to present to your attention a report on application of uh, big data methods in e-learning system. Uh, authors uh, Natalia Sharonova, Irina Kirichenko, and Gleb Tereshenko. Uh, a delighted report uh, is presented on the Collins Conference 2021 YouTube channel with the same name, application of big data methods in e-learning system. This uh, paper analyze, uh, analyzes uh, and uh, practices uh, the use of e-learning technology tools to provide relevant information for teachers and students try, trying to optimize the learning processes. Uh, the uh, combination of data processes and analytical training is uh, an aid uh, that will greatly enhance higher education and Determ uh, determine the path uh, for uh, further development in the new uh, educational area. Uh, in the uh, course of the study, we understood that we should uh, draw a number of conclusions from this research uh, that will assist teachers in improving both the learning processes and the teaching processes. Um, uh, it's uh, worth uh, noting that the collaborative and storage resources are the most widely, uh, widely used since they provide a vast volume of uh, data when processes uh, by both teachers and students. Uh, uh, to optimize efficient, they receive new developments and enhancement uh, of uh, learning processes. This data uh, must be intelligently ordered. Uh, furthermore, uh, we can uh, infer from the usage of the evaluation instruments that teachers need to find alternative ways of assessments in order to improve across the, uh, these tools. Um, data mining uh, in uh, an instruction setting is uh, presented in this article, which use uh, uh, as a, which, which use uses uh, assertive rules extraction strategies to identify patterns of students' uh, uh, failure. Uh, to examine pupil performance, association law research was ex extended to educational system. Uh, 
Uh, the uh, associated rules extraction methodology is used in this research. Maybe something sounds. wrong with the sound something yeah, wrong with the sound with internet connection yeah maybe yeah. Irina got some problem Irina if you can hear us please try to join this uh, session again um, maybe we will uh, continue and then we'll return oh mm -hmm. yeah I see you yeah we can hear you please you may continue. She is uh, on the uh, Irina. Are you here now? Now us? No. Mm. Okay, we have seen the main results. Are you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Um, uh, can, um, I, I can't show the presentation because internet over in my home. I connect via uh, telephone. I uh, finish my uh, report, okay? Only conclusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah only conclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, association rules extraction methodology is uh, used in this research to uh, uncover inclusive dynamics and uh, access student success and trends to find connections between attributes. Uh, the full version of the article can be read in the collection uh, Collins 2021. And thank you for your attention. Sorry for my problem. So, dear colleagues, are there any questions? Irina, I've got one question. Uh, what clusters have you got in your e-learning system? Are they uh, levels of uh, progress in studies or is it something else? Uh, we try and uh, do this um, uh, on our students. It's first, uh, first level, first uh, course. I see you. Okay, are there any questions? No questions, thank you. Let's go on. And the next presentation is uh, uh, Software Development for Semantic Kernel Forming. Please, who would like to present this research? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe authors uh, are absent at the moment. Let's go on. So please, um, the next presentation, a web application system of uh, handwritten text recognition. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I have course. some problems with uh, webcam drivers and uh, I can uh, show my face, unfortunately. I will demonstrate my screen. Wait a few seconds, please. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, good day. Uh, I was my colleague and co-author, Maria Kuzuli, would like to introduce uh, web application uh, system of written text recognition. Um, nowadays, the problem of written text recognition and di digital uh, image processing are attracting the attention of many researchers, occupying an important place uh, in the multi important areas of uh, application uh, and development of automation systems. Uh, and uh, electronic development management has a progressive development in various uh, areas uh, of human activity. And uh, an important role in the field of written text recognition using neural networks uh, uh, is played by different approaches in solving this problem. 
which from uh, uh, their advantages and corresponding disadvantages. The problem of uh, text recognition is becoming increasingly important uh, due to the active uh, introduction of digital computing and uh, widespread of use word processors. Uh, in the fact, there is a fact uh, of number of systems uh, existence that are able to recognize printed text uh, with uh, high efficiency. But the problem of uh, handwritten text recognition remains uh, the subject uh, of active research uh, um, in the fields of machine vision, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, and uh, also pattern recognition. Uh, the solution of uh, this uh, is to use the following methods, as you can see, genetic algorithms, convolutional neural networks, and a hopeful neural network. Uh, the research aim is to compare the approaches and methods uh, of uh, handwritten text recognition and software development. The research object uh, is handwritten text, uh, uh, which centered or uploaded by the user. And uh, subject uh, it is uh, methods uh, and approaches of handwritten text recognition. According uh, to the analysis of uh, the subject area in the work, the following tasks are set, which you can see on the slide. Um, uh, standard handwritten text recognition is performed according to the following scheme per processing of the image, uh, uh, segmentation, normalization, recognition of these segments, and uh, something else. Uh, the task of uh, system is to increase the speed and quality of input information recognition uh, in order to automate these processes uh, uh, as well as uh, to determine and use the most uh, optimal methods uh, of uh, handwritten text recognition using neural networks. Uh, the text recognition system receives uh, the written text uh, as uh, input uh, when receiving the image. The image should be uh, in a JPEG format. Uh, the genetic algorithm uh, has been investigated uh, uh, it shows uh, a slower performance than convolutional neural networks uh, in pattern recognition problems, but have excellent calculation accuracy. Uh, the block diagram of uh, genetic algorithm is presented uh, on the slide, as you can see. Uh, the <laughs> topology of convolutional neural network consists of five layers, input layer, pooling, or also, it named, uh, it's named as subsample layer, fully connected, and output layers. Um, the structure uh, of the network uh, is uh, unidirectional, I mean, without uh, feedback, and uh, multi-layer. Uh, the systematic approach of image processing based on the structural decomposition of uh, convolutional neural networks is used uh, in the research. Uh, it's necessary to find the optimal values uh, of the following parameters uh, in order to increase the uh, efficiency of uh, our neural networks. Um, it's a uh, number of feature maps, uh, uh, density of connections between feature maps, uh, window size, floor area, and uh, initial weights uh, initialization. Uh, hopefully neural network uh, uses use three layers. Uh, uh, it's uh, the input layer, the Hopper layer, and the output layer. Each layer has the same number of neurons, and uh, uh, input of the uh, Hopper layer uh, are, uh, inputs are connected uh, to the outputs of the corresponding input layer uh, neurons via, via variable uh, connection weights. <clears throat> and uh, outputs are connected to all neurons input. Uh, except uh, itself, as well as to the corresponding uh, elements in the output layer. Uh, the ID diagram uh, of the written uh, text recognition process is shown in the slide below. Um, the decomposed uh, uh, diagram shows the seven functional blocks of uh, this process, which you can see uh, below. Uh, the use case diagram shows the relationship between and precedence uh, in the system. Evgen, please, system... one minute. One minute left. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay. Uh, uh, we have the next user UI with these three pages, and uh, uh, the following is uh, performed. Uh, uh, and uh, I wanted to test problem solutions. It's entered the compressed and written uh, word, uh, um, written word at angle and in the very form. Uh, the uh, neural network was trying to recognize uh, each letter of uh, Ukrainian alphabet with a different type of uh, handwritten. Uh, so for text presentation, a lot of other uh, processing information obtained by scanning or photographing, the relevance of text recognition has uh, increased uh, uh, with the advent of uh, e-book readers, making the reading process easier. Uh, optical recognition has greatly uh, facilitated the document flow process. Uh, a fee active um, uh, active uh, solution to the problem are demonstrated uh, using genetic algorithm, uh, convolutional neural networks, and cofield neural networks. High speed software was created based on neural networks, and uh, the application will be expanded. Now the recognition of written text entered by user in English and, and Russian language. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Dear colleagues, your questions. So please tell, um, why have you chosen these types of uh, neural networks? Um, what is the main advantage of them in the task of handwritten text recognition? Um, uh, as, uh, as we know, uh, it is uh, mo the most popular uh, method uh, as uh, uh, CNN uh, hopeful to, uh, networks and uh, they have uh, uh, their own disadvantage uh, as uh, high speed, but uh, uh, their efficiency could be uh, much higher uh, as we can use uh, it with the uh, hand uh, written text recognition. Uh, so, uh, uh, as the methods uh, uh, can be used uh, in this task, for example. Okay, thank you. And uh, Andre Kopp, please, your question. Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, I would like to ask uh, you can which uh, software uh, tools, uh, I mean, like languages and platforms you use to achieve such on the fly performance. It's impressive. Yes, uh, I can uh, answer on the question. It's uh, uh, Angular framework as a front end uh, site. Uh, as uh, the backend site, it was uh, Node.js and uh, the Swag.js uh, library. Uh, also, I have used uh, the MongoDB database uh, to save uh, the information uh, in uh, objects because using the, uh, for example, my, my uh, SQL or uh, SQL server, uh, it uh, will be much slower. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's continue. And we've got one presentation left, uh, software development for semantic kernel forming. If there are no speakers at the moment, we will watch the video prepared by authors. We should do it, please. We can't hear. We can't hear. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Okay. Also, of our scientific work performed during the last 10 years. The presentation structure has been depicted on the second slide. The development of the Internet technologies led us to a new wave named Semantic Web. Its main characteristic is the transformation of the Internet to virtual library. This new concept means that for us, 
it is not enough to have the communication to another person. We need an advisor who accompanies us in each place in the world. The advisor knows about everything, for example, medicine, education, science, home duties, etc. The physical realization of the advisor traditionally was based on the four components – URAE, ontology, data and semantic language. However, we propose a new idea to do it by a semantic kernel object. Slide number three. What is a semantic kernel? It is a set of keywords which annotate the real definition of a product or a service in virtual space. Its pattern and sample are depicted on the third slide. Thus, a semantic kernel is described as an annotation of a piece of knowledge, usually at the very moment we are embedding the kernel to website content. The main technological platform to search an advisor or semantic kernel is definitely search engine. We reconstructed the classical structure of a search, uh, of search engine optimization process to add semantic kernel manipulation. Slide number four. The new skeleton of the business process meets all standard components of semantic web paradigm. Finally, the process generates RDF schema with necessary values of metrics to evaluate the efficiency of SEO process as a whole. In the current literature on semantic engines and services, the term keyword dictionary or semantic kernel is interpreted as the term of information search thesaurus. Therefore, we propose the schema of process realization. Slide number five. It is based on a controlled vocabulary of domain terms named thesaurus. It is the formation of multiple keywords. A set of keywords is formed from the dictionary, English, Russian or another language. The selection of keywords takes into account the information nature of the word, which is determined based on the frequency of the word occurrence. The role of the word in this subject area. The process of choosing keywords is difficult to form formalize. For example, a criterion such as frequency of occurrence cannot be absolute. If a word occurs very often in the text, it may indicate that uh, it is... Thank you. We should uh, go on. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, we end the third part uh, of the Applied Intelligence System session. Thanks to all the speakers for interesting uh, presentations. We will continue in 10 minutes and invite everyone to join the next part of the session. See you at 10 minutes to 4 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.